last lesson. This is the last lesson for the semester. I know you guys are sad about that, but it's the last new lesson. Okay? It's the last time for the semester anyway. you got to hear me talk a lot. Okay? It involves radicals. So remember, we've been talking about radicals, right? Um, we've simplified radicals, right? Pulling out pairs, pulling out triples. We've added, subtracted, multiplied, solved the last two days. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to look at a graph of a radical. Graphs are visual, right? When you open a book, when you when you open a first when you when you get a book, a magazine, first time, brand new magazine, brand new book. What's the first thing you look at, or I do anyway? What's the first thing? So you look at the title, and what else do you look at? The cover, right? You look at the pictures, right? You open it up and you look for pictures, right? Oh, what pictures are they showing? That's the first thing I do when I look at a magazine. When I get a new magazine, I'll look at the pictures. I'll read the I'll read the articles when I have time later, but I just want to see what's kind of get an idea, right? It's, the, it's what we all do. It's a natural instinct. That's all graphs are. In math, they're just pictures. They're just what's going on, right? What is going on? Like when I'll read a when I read a book to my son, they all have pictures. The picture describes, the picture is just what's going on, right? It's the same thing in math. It's the same thing in math. What is going on, but just visually so I can see it, okay? Um, so today we're graphing radicals, okay? So we have, we have, this is the general form, I should say. General form for radicals. Does it look familiar at all? Besides the radical, I know it has a radical, but does it look familiar besides that part? Does this part look familiar at all? The letters do, right? What letters have you seen before? It's been a while, but you've seen them before. What letters have you seen before? Yeah, X, H, and K for sure, right? Do you remember about H? What was it? Yeah, H was a liar. H was a liar. K tells the truth, right? That's what's going to happen today, too. And then A, what did A do? A did something. What did A? What was A responsible for? Do you guys remember? We'll find out today. But does there, you guys remember what A was responsible for? Okay, we'll find out today. We'll find if you forgot, we'll find out today. Um, okay, so first thing, when we're graphing radicals, anytime you do graphs, you have what's called a parent function. A parent function. Okay. A parent is kind of like a parent to humans. When you're doing your family tree, when you're doing a family tree of your immediate family, I'm not talking about like your big extended family, like grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins. I'm just immediate family, right? So brothers and sisters and parents, right? Your parents are at the top. And then the family tree kind of goes out from there, right? That's kind of like graphs, right? It's kind of like graphs. So this is the parent. This is the guy that's at the head, the mom and the dad. All of the other graphs that you're going to see today on the back page are what we call offspring. They're kids. Parents and kids. Kids, I'm sure you guys might even look like your parents, right? Like I look like my dad. Like if my dad walked in, you'd be like, yeah, that's Mr. Flores' dad because we look almost identical. Some of you might look like your parents, some of you might not look like your parents, but you definitely share characteristics with them. You might share traits with them. You might not look like them, but you have similar hair, or you have similar build, or you similar height, or maybe it's something that you do that your parents do, the way you walk, the way you talk, something like that, right? Um, so you're different people, but you all share characteristics. That's kind of like graphs. This is the parent. The parent does one thing. The kids all kind of look similar, but different in their own way. Okay? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Okay, so we're going to start with the parent graph. What does the parent look like? So to do that, we're going to make a table. Okay? We're going to make a table. So the parent is y equals the square root of x. So I'm going to plug in numbers for x. I'm going to plug in numbers for x. I'm going to plug in 4. What type of numbers would it best... Be smart. What numbers would be smart of me to plug in? 
what type of number or what number like what type of numbers would it be smart to do what what number should i start with yeah it would be smart to use these perfect squares right one four nine sixteen twenty five because they all have nice pretty square roots right numbers in between like two and three five eight seven they all have square roots but they're long ugly decimals right so i kind of want to keep those so even though it's not on the list the first one would be zero right because what's the square root when i plug it in when i plug it in zero the square root of zero here what is the square root of zero zero yeah so that's my first dot that's going to be my first dot Now let's do the next one. The next one is one, right? So let's plug in one. The next perfect square is one. What's the square root of one? One, right? So that makes another dot, one, one. Over one, up one. Okay, we got two more. So the next one is four. The square root of four is two. So four, two, so over four, Or up to make a dot. And then we have one more, so we'll use nine. The square root of nine is three. So over nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, and three. So we'll, I will, we'll, I'm going to sketch that again. Okay. I forgot to tell you guys this. It'd probably be better. So grab, if you don't, if you have markers or highlighters, take out like two colors. If you don't, I have some in the back. Okay. So go grab two colors that are different. Okay. So if you have them, great. If not, there's a tub in the back, container in the back. Just grab two colors that are different because we're going to be comparing things. Okay. So a marker or a highlighter is good. Okay, it doesn't matter what colors as long as they're different. Okay, we're going to give one color for the for the parent. The parent's going to have one color. So whatever color you want for the parent, I'm going to highlight it or I'm going to color it in that color. So I'll choose green for that guy. So every parent will be green. Okay. This graph's only going to have one. It only has a parent. The other ones will have the parent and the kids. So we want to be able to tell the difference. Okay. What do you notice? So what does the parent have? Like, what do you notice about the graph? What jumps out at you? Is there anything that kind of jumps out at you or what, what do you notice? What are, what are things that you notice about it? Anything about the graph here. It's got a curve, right? It's a curve. It's not a straight line. It's got a curve, definitely. All of today's, the parent and the kids will all be curves. They all share that in common, okay? Is it going uphill or downhill? It is going uphill, right? It goes uphill, right? It starts, we start here and then we go up, 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 kind of start to slow down, but I'm still going up, right? Okay. Um, me, this is just me. It kind of like looks like it's missing something. I'm, I don't know if it's just me, but I kind of think that this should be there too. But it's missing like half. So it's kind of, it look, kind of looks like it's got cut in half. I don't know why. That's just me, but it kind of looks like that. So it kind of looks like half of a graph. <coughs> I'm sorry. But you know, that's what they're all going to look like. All the kids are going to look something like that, but a little different, just like you guys with your parents. You guys look maybe similar to your parents, but you guys are different because you're different people. Okay. So let's go look at one of the kids. First kid. Number two, example number two. Four, 
first thing we're going to do on all these graphs is we're going to draw the parent. So let's repeat the parent. It's not going to go in the table, but it's going to be on the parent. So the parent had, what was it? Zero, zero was a dot. One, one was a dot. Four, two. And then nine, three. And then what, whatever color you chose for the parent, I chose green, so I'm going to do green. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare the parent, which we already know what that looks like. We're going to compare it to the kid. And the kid is going to be that guy right there. Okay. It's got a plus five on the outside. It has the same as the parent, but a plus five on the outside. Okay. All right. So when I plug in numbers for the, for the kid, for the purple, is it okay to plug in the same numbers that I did for the parent? Zero, one, four, nine. Will that give me pretty numbers just like it did last time? If I plug in numbers for X here. So I'm going to plug them in right here, right? Is it okay to pick the same numbers? One, four, one, zero, one, four, nine. Will that still give me nice, pretty numbers? Yes. So let's pick the same numbers. Why change it up if it works last if it worked last time? It's not always going to work. But for today, for this problem, it will work. Okay. <clears throat> so I plug in zero, right? So you're going to plug in zero. What's the square root of zero? Zero plus five. All right. So the first dot for the kid is going to be at zero five. So zero and then up five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the next one, square root of one, the square root of one is one plus five, six. So I'm going to have the next dot at one over one up six. So I'm going to make mine, I'm going to make it different color, so it's easier to see. Uh, the next one, four. The square root of four is two. Two plus five is seven. So I'm gonna have another dot at four, seven. And then the last one is nine. So if I have the square root of nine, that's three plus five. That is going to be eight. And then I'm going to highlight it in my new color. So this kid looks different. First of all, what does it share with its parent? What does this guy share with its parent? What are things they share in common? We chose the same X values, right? We could, right? We could do that. We chose the same X values. Good. What else? What about the picture? They have the same curve, right? They have the same curve. They have the same look. Definitely. For sure. What do they have? What's different about them? Yeah, where, where is the kid compared to the parent? Higher, right? How high is each dot? How, how much higher is each dot compared to the parent? Five units, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Each dot is five higher. It's kind of like a taller kid, right? It's up higher. 
right? So that's the transformation. Transformation is the change. What's the change from the parent to the kid? Well, all points on the new graph have shifted up five units. All points on the new graph have shifted up five units. That's really the only difference between the parent and the kid. They share a lot of characteristics in common. They don't share a lot different. So this one's pretty, this one's pretty close. Okay. Which letter did I change? So go back to the front now. Let's shift back to the front. So let's go back. We're going to be doing a lot of back and forth. I should have probably said this at the beginning. The parent, what is the A value for the parent? What is the A value for the parent? Parent has what A value? This is the parent. What A value did the parent have? One, it had a one, not a zero, it had a one, yeah. The parent had a 1A. What did it have for H? What did the parent have for H? Zero. Yeah, it had zero for H. And what about K? No, the parent. The parent, not the kid. Zero, right? So it had A is 1, H is 0, K is 0. Now the kid, the kid, does the kid have A is, A, A is 1? Does it have H is zero? It did, right? What's the only difference that it had? K, right? K is the thing that changed. And K was positive five. And what happened to the graph? What was the only change in the graph? It went up five units, right? So K is responsible for a vertical shift, up or down. So when K is positive, so we're gonna write that down. When K is positive, the graph is going to shift up. K units. So for the for example number two, the one we just did, K was five, right? So everything went up five units, okay? What do you think would happen if we had a negative K? There you go, right? It would, the graph, we're gonna see this later, but we'll just put it in here now. We'll shift down K units. Okay, so if it was a minus five, the kid would have gone down five. Okay. All right, so now let's look at the next one. Let's go to number three. First thing we're going to do is draw the parent. So let's draw the parent. Zero, zero, one, one. Four, two, nine, three. Yep. First thing we do, draw the parent. Now we have a new kid. Kind of looks similar to the old kid or to the kid we just saw, right? But we're going to see exactly the difference. Okay, so if what happens if I plugged in my 0, 1, 4, 9? What would happen if I plugged in my 0, 1, 4, 9? 
would that give me nice answers? So if I plugged in a zero here, like I did before, and I plugged in zero here, that would be the square root of five, right? Is the square root of five a nice pretty answer? No, right? So we don't wanna use numbers that give us ugly answers. We wanna use numbers that give us pretty answers. So which number should we, should we plug in there that would give us a nice answer? Four. If I were to plug in four, that would give me the square root of nine, right? What is the square root of nine? Three. That's a pretty answer. Four works. So let's go graph four. Four, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Let's choose another, which other number besides four, when I plug in, will give me a nice pretty answer. 11? Is 11, so 11, let's see. Do I have 11 next? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yeah, I do. Okay, so 11. So if I were to plug in 11, 11 plus five, 16. What's the square root of 16? Four. Okay. So far, both dots are pretty close to the parent. Are there, so I'm kind of running off the graph now, right? 11 was the highest X I could do without going off the graph. So think of numbers that are still on the graph that I could plug in. What? Negative one. If I plugged in a negative one, would that work? Negative 1 plus 5, 5 is 4, right? The square root of 4 is 2. Negative 1 works. I haven't done a negative, but this one, it works. Negative 1, 2. What number can I plug in that would make 0 inside of the root? What number could I plug in? Negative five. So let's do negative five here. So when I plug in negative five, I get the square root of zero. Square root of zero is just zero. Okay, so let's draw this shape. And then let me highlight it. So it looks a little different than the parent, right? What is the main thing that happened? Look at the dots. Where did the dots go from parent to kid? So yeah, so so like this, for example, this dot right here, right? This dot right here, where did it go with the kid? It went over here, right? It would shift it to the left. How many units did it shift to the left? Five units to the left, right? Or negative five units. How about this dot right here? Where did it go? We didn't make that dot, but it went right here, right? This guy, same thing. This guy, same thing, right? All of the dots shifted to the left five units. So let's write that down. All points are all dots on the graph shifted left five units. That positive five, that positive five is considered H, right? So because it was a positive five, it shifted left. Does that make sense? 
It does because we've seen this before, right? When H is positive, which way is it going to go? We think, right? And it goes back to what did we say about H? Liar, right? H is a liar. So when H is positive, so let's write that down in the box. When H is positive, positive H, it's going to shift left, actually, K units. And if H is negative, it's going to shift right K units. Not K units, H units, sorry. How am I using H? Right? H is a liar. It's still a liar. H is still a liar. That hasn't changed. K tells the truth. If K is positive, it goes up. K is negative, it goes down. If H, but H is different. H is a liar. Okay? Last two we're going to do are going to tell us about A. Okay? So let's do the last two. Last two will be done. Okay, so first thing we do, let's draw the pair. Zero, zero, one, one, two, three, four, two, five, six, So now, the parents, or sorry, the, the kid. So now that was the parent. Now this kid is a little different. So for this guy, would it be okay to plug in 0, 1, 4, 9 like I did the first one? Is that okay here, or do I have to do different? Do I have to change it up like I did the last one? If I plug in zero, will it give me a whole number? Right? It will, right? They will. Because there's nothing going on. There is, we only need to plug in different numbers when there's an H. This one doesn't have an H. It has a K and it has an A. Okay. So it's two times the square root plus 3. So if I were to plug in 0, the square root of 0 is 0. So it would be 2 times 0 plus 3, which is 3. Okay, so 0, 3, 1, 2, 3. Uh, I just, oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, you're right, you're right, sorry, 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 change yours, or change mine, I'm going to change mine, for some reason, mine was off, it's supposed to be negative three, yours was, yours was, was fine, mine, for some reason, I don't know why, but the, the file gave me negative, I don't know why, but it's supposed to be minus, it's supposed to be minus, you guys are right, so it'd be minus three, so it'd be negative three, right, yeah, I forgot, last period, they told me the same thing, and I completely forgot, about that. So it's going to be negative 3. So this dot is going to be 1, 2, 3, down there. I'm going to change it for the next period so I don't forget. Okay. Next one, plug in 1. 
Square root of 1 is 1. 2 times 1 minus 3 is uh, negative 1. 1, negative 1. So then I plug in 4. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 2 minus 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. Last one. Plug in 9. Square root of 9 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Minus 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. And they actually share it up. And that is the this kid. Okay. So what do we notice about this kid? versus the other kids? Or what do we notice, the kid versus the parent? What do we know about the kid, the purple versus the green, the parent? What's one thing that's different? What does it looks like? What does it look like it's done? It overlapped them, right? Yeah. The kid is growing at a faster rate than the parent. What do you think caused that? The two, yeah, the two in the front, right? We've never seen that in the front. The two in the front, A is causing it to grow faster. It's like a parent or it's like a kid who's taller than their parents, right? It's like a kid who's taller than their parents. They overcame. That two in the front, that's what causes it, right? So it kind of got taller, right? That two is causing it to become taller, right? So let's go write that down for A. A, that's what A, that's one of one of job A's jobs. One of A's jobs is steepness, tallness. As A gets bigger, graph gets taller, steeper. However you want to say it. All right. So as A gets bigger, so if I had an A of 3 or 4 or 10, that thing would go really tall. It would get really tall. Okay? How do you think it would happen? So that's that's for us. That's some of you guys might be this situation. You're taller than your parents. What about for me? I'm not taller than my dad. My dad is six four. I'm not even six foot. How would that happen? What would A need to do for the kid to be shorter? So we might find out. We're gonna find out on the next one. We're gonna find out on the next one. What what well how would it ha how would the kid get shorter? Right? Not so tall, but shorter. We're going to find out the next one. Um, so this guy got taller. But what else happened? Besides it got taller, what else happened that we knew was going to happen already? What did that minus 3 tell us it was going to do? Shift down. Yeah, shift down. So it shifted down three units. So let's write this down. New graph. Shifted down three units because of that minus three, because K was minus three. And is taller slash steeper 
grandparents. Got the kind of same shape. It's got the same shape, still a curve, but it's taller. It's a taller curve. Right? All right, last one. Last one. Let's draw the parent first. Zero, zero, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, two. So that's the kid. So what are the things that we know about the kid without even drawing a picture, without even graphing anything? What are the things that we can tell about the kid already that's going to change from the parent? It's going to go four up. Definitely. What else? One other thing. Well, we think it's going to be shorter, right? But what else do we know for sure? It's going to go to the right one, right? We know it's going to go up four into the right one. We think it's going to be shorter, but we're not sure because we haven't had a one with a negative A, right? Negative one. A is negative one. Okay, so let's plug in numbers. So is it okay for me to plug in 0, 1, 4, 9 for this guy? No, right? Because this guy has an H. If it has an H, plus or negative, I got to pick special numbers. Okay, so what's one number I can plug in there that would give me a nice pretty number? 1, right? If I plug in 1. If I plug in 1... 1 minus 1 is 0. Square root of 0 is 0. So I have negative 1 times 0 plus 4. That's positive 4. 1. Okay. What's another number I can plug in? Another special number I can plug in that would give me something nice? 2. If I were to plug in 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. So negative 1 times 1 plus 4. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 plus 4 is 3. So over 2, up 3. So far, so good. What is another number I could plug in that would give me something whole? Five, yeah, five. Five would give me something whole. Five minus one is four. Five minus one is four. So five. So negative one times... The square root of 4 is 2 plus 4. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. Okay. The last one. Let's see. The last one I can plug in. Uh, 10, I think 10 would be a number I can plug in. 10, 10 minus one is nine. So I can plug in 10, 10 minus one is nine. So it would be the square root of nine is three. So negative one times three plus four, that's one.
So it kind of went up. The dots went up and they went over, right? This dot right here went up and over like we thought it would. This dot went up and over like we thought it would. Did it get shorter? Did it get shorter? What did it do instead of getting shorter? It flipped over, didn't it flip over? Isn't this curve going the other direction? So this guy's going in this, this guy's kind of going like that, right? It shifted, it kind of flipped. So a negative actually won't make it shorter, a negative will make it flip, reflect, right? When we talked about parabolas, remember we talked about arrows up or arrows down? It's kind of that idea, it turned itself over, okay? So that's what the negative did. So it did three things. New graph, um, shifted, up four units, right one unit, and flipped or reflected. Another word is reflected you can use. You flipped or reflected. That's what A does. If A is negative, the picture is going to be upside down. The picture is going to be upside down. Okay, so let's go write that in the last box. The last box. If A is negative, the curve is going to be going the other way. Graph will flip. Okay, the graph will flip. So going back to my question, how do I make it shorter? I don't want to flip it. I just want to make it shorter. So in other words, if the parent does that, oops, I want the kid to go like that. How do you think I'm going to make it shorter? Not negative, because I want it to go be going in the same direction, right? How do I make it shorter? Not negative numbers, but what type of numbers am I going to use? That would be positive numbers. But what type of numbers? Fractions, yeah, fractions. That's If A is a fraction, it's going to be shorter. That's what Mr. Flores is. Yeah, I'm a fraction compared to my dad because I'm shorter, right? If you are a whole number, the bigger A gets, that's tall. That's what I want it to be. Okay. But that's so that's with A, that's when A gets bigger. Okay. That's when A gets bigger. And if it's negative, it flips. It flips. It just flips. Flips position. So instead of going up, it's going to be going there. Okay. All right. Okay, so tape's in the back. Tape that in, and let me see if the announcement.